guys, today we're going to do an insulation resistance test using the Mega MFT1711. So the first thing to note is we've got three settings for insulation resistance, 250 volt, 500 and 1000 volt. And we're going to concern ourselves today with the 250 and 500 volt. You can see there's no display at the moment, it just says Mega Ohms. Um, what I'm going to do first is prove that the unit is working correctly. So what I'm doing now is I'm pressing and holding the test button. And with the crocodile clip separated, it's showing 999. So obviously there's nothing touching. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put the crocodile clips together and press and hold the button down. And because this is applied voltage, you have to press and hold the button. And you can see there, zero, zero, zero. So it's showing a dead short. So it proves that the test equipment works. And uh, now we're going to move on to the test itself. Nothing complicated about this. It's fairly straightforward. So here we go straight onto the live and the earth and uh, we need to apply a voltage to it so obviously we're uh, setting it up as 500 volts live to earth there we go and it's 999 mega ohms neutral to earth again 500 volts press and hold the button and then straight away 999 the next test is the one that can cause the damage, so what I normally do is set it on 250 first of all, just in case there's anything connected up. Um, so I'll turn it down to 250, as indicating here, and just in case there's anything left connected in, if this comes back clear then I go up to 500. So because it's only a 250 test, we need to put it up to twice the uh, nominal voltage, so it's back up to 500, press and hold the button. And we've got 999 mega ohms. And that's the test complete. Many thanks for watching.